Have you ever wasted hours chasing clients just to get access to their Google business profile? You're not alone. For years, agencies like ours were stuck in a mess of permissions, broken links, and frustrated clients. What if I told you there's a way to access and manage hundreds of profiles without ever bugging a client again? This video is your backstage pass into Google Business Profile Manager's agency dashboard. And yes, there's a catch that you definitely need to know about before making the switch. What exactly is the Google Business Profile Manager agency dashboard? It's designed specifically for agencies that manage multiple Google profiles, and it centralizes everything permissions, users, teams, and business locations. Here's how to set it up and avoid common mistakes that may block your access from day one. Step one is signing up. You need to use a domain email for your agency's brand website. This email you create must be a clean email, meaning it does not manage any other Google listings. Step two is to add your team members. These team members also need a brand domain email and that email cannot manage any other Google profile yet. Step three is to migrate the listings you're gonna be managing into the account. Google provides tools to import listings into your account once it's set up. If you're managing multiple Google listings and you want smoother workflows, smarter systems, and fewer headaches, this channel is for you. We've got more tools and walkthroughs coming every week. If this video helped you, make sure to click the like button so other agency owners can find this video. Now, here's where it gets interesting and tricky. There are two main ways to get access to a client's Google business profile using the agency dashboard. The first way is to request manager access. From your dashboard, go to manage invitations. Then request access to the business profile as a manager, not an owner. If you request ownership access, that will actually bump the client's email down, which could be a fast way to lose trust with that client. The second way is to have clients add you manually. For service area businesses with the address hidden, clients must add you using either a location group ID for a single listing or an organization ID for business groups. If you've ever had clients ask, why do you need my logins again? You already know the struggle. Agencies juggling 10, 50, or even 500 listings face chaos without a centralized access. Worse, if a client has a service area business with the address hidden, you can't even find the listing to request access the normal way. That's when the manually add method becomes your best friend. At our agency, we've hit every wall you can imagine. Accounts locked out, team members unable to get access, invitation errors. Here's what we do now to streamline it all. We name our location groups, also known as business groups, very clearly. Because remember, clients can see this. We train clients on how to paste the location group ID or the organization ID without spaces. We keep a clean account checklist for new hires before we onboard them to the agency dashboard. But let's talk about the elephant in the room, notifications. If you're managing over 100 listings, Google won't send you notifications for reviews, Q&As, or even edits to the profile. And guess what? Even with fewer than 100 Google listings, if you switch to the agency dashboard, you are likely to still lose email notifications altogether. So if you wanna keep your finger on the pulse, you'll need to use external tools or manually check the dashboard regularly for these updates and edits. Old school, but necessary. If you've used the agency dashboard, drop your number one tip or a horror story in the comments. And if you're still on the fence about switching to the agency dashboard, let me know your biggest hesitation. I'll answer every question I can. So why do we still use it here at our agency? Well, two reasons. First, the interface is lightning fast. No more waiting for pages to load. The second reason, 
You can organize your teams around groups of businesses, which makes scaling so much easier. The agency dashboard isn't perfect, but it's a game changer if you set it up right. Yes, it takes work. Yes, it has quirks. But if you're serious about scaling your agency, this is a vital tool you need in your arsenal. Don't forget to subscribe. We've got deep dive videos coming soon on location group strategy, review monitoring hacks, and local SEO audits you can run in minutes. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.